Welcome to the pleasure place. Welcome to Berlin. I'm down. You guys down? A really loose country, huh? Hello, I'm Eric and I'll be your host. A lot goes into finding a rad skate city. It's not just about the skate spots and skate parks, it's about finding a city that supports the skateboarder lifestyle. You want cheap rent, cheap beer, and you don't want to get kicked out of every spot you try to skate. That's why I love Berlin. The cost of living is comfortably low, and no one gives a shit if you're skating a spot, or writing graffiti, or smoking weed in the streets. On this mission, I brought professional skateboarder party animal Cole Wilson, and legendary photographer slash cool dude C.U. Trin. More leather, the better. And we're going to link up with some of the locals. We're meeting up with Paul Ottvoss. He moved from Toronto to Los Angeles to be a professional skater, and now he lives in Berlin as an artist. For the most part, cops don't really give a shit here. You can do whatever you want. I mean, you can run around naked if you want with a sign that says, go fuck yourself, I'm smoking joints all day. Like, they wouldn't care. Roland Hirsch is a local legend ripper who grew up in a small town in Germany just two hours north. Everyone says he's the guy. Mark Nichols moved around the world and settled here as the go-to skate filmer. There you go. That's how you do interviews. <laughs> Arnie runs radio skateboards out of Berlin and has been skating here since the 80s. Nah, it's like, have fun, it's Berlin. Party all night long. Augustine is from Paris. He's here for the second time. He films on a VX and he's hard to impress. Berlin is very cheap. You don't need that much money. We're staying with Moon and Sarah Parson, Texas. They moved here from Paris seven years ago. They're artists and they seem to be liked by literally everybody in the city. We met these girls uh, last year in Copenhagen, and I told them I was going to Berlin, and they said, we're from Berlin, you can stay in my room, fuck it. So a year later, we're taking them up on it, and we're all crashing here. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we're staying in Neuklin, and when you're on a budget, this is the place to be. It's the affordable neighborhood where all the cool kids live. They got good cheap food, rad cheap bars, and even with the prices going up as the world catches on, this might be the raddest skate neighborhood in the world, weather permitting. Kreuzberg, this, this is the center. So this is where it's usually like kind of packed with loonies, but because it's rainy, I guess they're all inside. We'll be spending time in Kreuzberg too. It's the neighboring neighborhood with the best skate shop, solid food and drink options, thrift stores. This is actually kind of like hip clothing. This is like wasteland on Melrose. Dude. And everyone is shockingly supportive of all these goddamn skaters. When you come here, you can venture over to the Mitt at some point if you want to see what tourists see, but you won't be doing much skating and it's just not really our scene. There's like little sects of areas of towns like, it's kind of more in Toronto, it's more like little Tokyo, little, little Jamaica, little Italy kind of thing. Here it's just like, it's kind of interwoven all over the place. Right beside the Ritzy shopping area is the most ghetto like, almost red light district, but there's just like every kind of hooker walking around that you could possibly imagine. There's like nice like, you know, like parks with grass everywhere too, so it's kind of nice. It's not like such a city feel, concrete jungle style like New York, but you can ride your bike almost faster than driving a car all over the place. Typically, Google Maps shows a three-way tie between car, train, and bicycle for travel time. Most skaters choose the bike. You can go everywhere with bike, so good, better than the car or metro. If you go take the bike, don't ask for fucking spots, just take the bike and look for it. It won't go. Uh, Berlin's a big man, you have to ride a bike every day, it's like uh, miles and miles. And then you arrive to the spot, your legs are already fucked. <laughs> And they can't even pop normally, you know. Okay, not everyone chooses the bike, and our weather was shit, so we chose the Metro Day Pass, which is about the same cost as a bike rental, seven euros a day. Meet Cole Wilson. I wanted to bring a guy who could party all night. Say that street name. And can still skate the next day. About them brush stars. Yeah. That's pretty close, I think. I think it's Wilhelm Brustrasse. Is that you say? I don't know, dude. I don't speak German, dude. I think I found our guy. I'm not feeling it.
What's your favorite skate spot? Uh, right now it's the dog shit spot, like uh, close to Warsaw, close to the skate hall. And yeah, there are many, uh, many amazing dudes. They build a lot of stuff here in town. New stuff is coming up. Like old, we have a lot of old ones, shitty ones. But now the DIY scene, for sure, it's coming and more and more stuff. The best local skateboarders. It depends what you like. I mean, there are different styles what people like. I would say there are big names. Justin Sommer is killing it right now. Patrick Gugalski is killing it. Uh, Farid Ulrich is fucking killing it. Farid Ulrich, damn good. Uh, we have uh, Jürgen Horvath, uh, which is an insanely fucking good uh, halfpipe rider. Well, well known in the world, I would say. I mean, many dudes. Lenny Baumeister, so many names dropping. I don't know. Yeah. Right. If, uh, if kids are going to travel to Berlin and try to skate for the first time, what sort of shit do you recommend they do when they get here to get the full Berlin experience? The full Berlin experience. Hmm. Just be yourself. Don't block the sidewalk. Don't only ask for beer. You have to know the the mark, the trademark. What what is it called? Like, brand. The brand. Yeah, the brand. Don't go to don't go to the fucking tourist spots. Nobody cares. It's fucking boring. Yeah, just be yourself and don't be an asshole. Just be cool and friendly and. Yeah, normal stuff. And uh, what do you like about <clears throat> the Berlin skate scene the most? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a fucked up question. And, uh, I really like it for the uh, better diversity that we've got over the years, but it's like in skateboarding in general, I think so. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I was standing in front of the Berlin Wall, age 16, when it came down in 89, and was hilarious. Everybody was like celebrating and drinking uh, champagne and everything. And uh, the guys on the east side still standing there with the machine guns. And everybody was like, "Oh my God, what's going to happen if we fall on the east side of the wall?" But everybody was like, "Whoo, come on, wall is going down." And it was like surrealism. For us, it was like heaven because after the wall came down in November of '89, uh, we had like spring of '90, and we had like a whole new city for us to explore and to find new spots. That was really great back in the days. It's really hard to bring this to people that uh, haven't been here like back in the days when the war was there. So, Okay, this is not a history show. There's other places where you can get all that info. But in Berlin, it's unavoidable. Conversations about the Berlin Wall are always popping up. There's physical damage left over from World War II and political graffiti every couple of blocks. What's the go-to meal in Berlin? I don't know, like kebab probably, it's super cheap, you know, but it's not very healthy, you know. <laughs> Actually, we're in the neighborhood that invented the donor kebab as well. Oh, what? We walked to the end of the block and it's right there. They have like a restaurant and a kebab spot. Okay, let's go there, let's go there dude. Let's go there now. I'm down. You guys down? Yeah. Want to go to the first ever donor kebab spot, international party food? Hi, hi, hi. What up? Best kebab, best kebab here. Best kebab? Yes. Is this the first ever place? The original. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. About 40 years ago. 40 years ago? 40, 45 years ago. Now do I get to cut it? Yes. Fuck yeah. yeah, yeah. Alright, how do I do it? Yeah. God. Oh, I see. You gotta find the edge. Yeah. How's this? Right. That good? I'm busy, man. I can't mess it up. We're gonna eat this shit. I'm learning, I'm learning. No matter what, shit. All right, so here's the first bite of the OG donut kebab. Mm. Oh my god! I never tasted beef so good. Might want to take a little trip over here because this one's the real deal. Ah. <laughs> Nowhere in the world has such a variety of delicious and affordable options. Every block has options from several different countries. Currywurst, uh, it's a must have, I'm addicted. In my brief time here, I've had Indian, Polish, Russian, German, Mexican, Thai, Turkish, Italian, and even for the first time, Sudanese. It has peanut butter sauce in here? Yeah. Wow, okay. It does. So I guess that's that's the secret, the peanut butter sauce, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're 
they're great. Tasty, cheap, quick. <laughs> We need those bottles. I know. Those are worth a lot. <laughs> dude, careful, dude. Apparently, if you fucking return five bottles to the store, there's a deposit on them, and you can get a free beer out of it. Oh, right there. Two of them. Straight ahead, right there. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious that this is a real thing. So there's one right there. See, you grab that one. Three. Oh, shit. Look at this. Look at this. Film this. What do you got? Nazi scum, fuck off. <laughs> I think that was an English accent. <laughs> no matter where you go, like, this city has a crazy history. Oh, hold on. That's tomato chili. Clearly, people have done this before me tonight. Thank you, sir. And he cracked it for you. And he cracked it. Cheers. And so far, no other city in the world that I've been to you can walk home from the bar, pick up trash, and trade it for free beer. And they open it and let you drink it along the way home. <laughs> wow, this is a really loose country, huh? <laughs> Favorite part about Berlin is definitely the people. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Really just like charismatic and. I know I can be what I wanna be if I walk out a day. They're down to show you a good time. They want you to have a good time. Give it to me and be, yes. If you ask for me, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not having a good time, you better change your attitude because there's no reason why you shouldn't. <laughs> Got your boy. <laughs> oh shit, dude, your dick is smeared, though. It's smeared. It's, it's in oh. This is my gun. <laughs> if you hang out with people who are actually locals, you like you actually experience the city instead of just looking and like Google it or whatever and you just go to like the most fucking, I don't know. There's so many places you actually don't want to go and people say it's like the best shit to do. The people in Berlin are here for a good time. Some of the raddest people I've ever met live here and they come from all over the world. They're the creatives, the skaters, the artists, musicians, the do-it-yourselfers, the party animals, the people who I think are really living life. My kind of people. There's clubs here that are open from Thursday night until Monday morning, and you see people go in and they don't come out until that Monday morning. It's, it's insane. This is Heiner's bar. Technically, there is no name for this bar, but the owner is called Heiner, so everybody started to call it Heiner's. It's cheap as fuck, three euro for gin tonic, and you can stay till like nine in the morning. If there is people, they stay open. All right, a four-day rave would totally fuck up my skate life. I'd rather go to a cheap candlelit bar with no name in Neuklin, or the Rum Trader, this uh, throwback cocktail bar where you're asked what you like and you get what you're given. I got a metal deer's head filled with a thick crimson cocktail. This is the deer's blood. Then there's Black Lodge, a Twin Peaks-themed bar that loops the episodes in the back where everyone is smoking and doing tattoos by candlelight. It's kind of funny because the artists are drunk, tattooing in the dark, while smoking's going on, dirty tables. Just look at the scene, dude. Look at these people. Would you ever get a tattoo in an environment like this? <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> I've been a bunch of places, and it always blows my mind how welcoming the skateboarding community is to skateboarders. It doesn't matter what color you are, if you're fat or skinny or rich or poor or gay, straight, religious, punk rock, hip hop. If you're a skateboarder, you've got family all over the world. And you don't even have to look around to find them. Just go skate and do your thing. And it won't be long before you've got five new friends and you're all hanging out like you fucking grew up together. In the words of Berliner Roland Hirsch, just be yourself and don't be an asshole. Just be cool and friendly. Yeah, normal stuff. Now go out there. Get lost and see the world. And don't forget your skateboard. All right, dude, it's done. Turn, up, turn the camera off, man. Put a fork in it. It's done, dude. Cut. Done. Show's over. Poop. Put a 
forking it. Kebab's done. Just cut it out.